Hi everyone, it's a mobile game review from Mob.org, and as usual, Garrett. Let's go. Today, we have a fighter again. I don't love him very much, frankly speaking, but today's patient has, if we may say so, some historical value, because among fighting genre fans, it's considered to be one of the best fighting games in the world. Let's meet Soul Calibur. The series began in 98, when the first part of the game appeared on arcade machines. A little while later, it was made for the Dreamcast console. Then, there were a lot of sequels. And we don't have a digression into history, but a short review. So we will look through only this concrete game. In principle, if you've played fighters, you have to know how it works. And Soul Calibur is one of the most typical fighters. However, it pleases with a set of available modes from training to survival. But besides that, there's no special innovations, and fans of this genre have seen it more than once or twice. The options also please. The control system can be adjusted quite flexibly. It's possible to change the type of controls, or to make an arrangement of the screen buttons for yourself. Well, what can I possibly say about the fight? First of all, these screen buttons are rather lousily drawn. Probably the authors tried to represent the buttons of the arcade machines, or more probably, they wanted to make them brighter so that they didn't merge with the background. In both cases, it wasn't necessary to draw the interface in shitty paint. I mean, really, look at these buttons. It looks like someone scattered children's vitamins on the screen. The process of beating the rival is intuitively clear, and we don't need to explain it in detail. Joystick is on the left, three buttons to hit and a block button on the right. Also, if you hold the hit button for some time, the damage will increase. And naturally, there's various combos, pluses and minuses. For shortcomings of the game, I can note a lack of multiplayer. It isn't present at all, neither via Bluetooth, nor on the internet, not in any way. And after all, to beat friends is an important part of any fighting game. And now the pluses. Everything else is done with some quality, and admirers of the series have to appreciate it. Familiar picturesque characters, good animation, everything else is here. That's all for today. If you liked it, follow our channel. There's still lots of great games around. This was Garrett and reviews from Mob.org. See you soon.